Hello everyone, it's Love here and I know we've done Dimir, but we'll make another one and this one will be even more epic because we are playing Mindspress Apparatus together with Outrageous Robbery and Silver Scrutiny. So guys, you know what will happen, alright? You can, you can just go for the most ridiculous X ever and exile your opponent's full library and you do it at instant speed as well. You will see a lot today, all right? I won't spoil it, but you will love it. I'll tell you this. Other than this, we use March to get a benefit from extra mana. So guys, if you like new decks and you enjoy all the brews, don't forget to like the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and really want to say thank you for all the amazing comments. I'm so happy that we can be together excited about this set and just have fun together. So thank you for this. This makes it super special for me. So yeah, enjoy the games and have fun. All right, guys, we are rolling the dice. If we are playing against aggro, that's perfect. If that's against control, we probably lost. <laughs> well, it will be interesting. Oh my God, Celestus. Man, this, this draw is insanely good. Really? Bro, please, don't, don't be a control. Uh, I think we have enough. <laughs> like, let, let's draw something that is, for example, blue. No way, man. Another control? Are you serious? Can I please play Celestus without counter spell? I don't think we can win this. Oh my god. Full hand of removal and lands and against hard control. I will try to play it out. Theoretically, if we get good draws, like we have the tools to answer it. One of those. Uh, but not sure if that will be enough. So if they memory the rush, we dissipate it, so they, they lose the card altogether. Usually it's memory the rush. You want? Ah, I think they have it, but they don't play it. And field of ruin. Man, this looks so cool. Alright, this is a good draw. Probably for the end step, but still a good draw. The problem is that oh no, Mirex. I'm so happy they are not using their, their cards. That helps a little bit, but they will use it on the next turn. This should go through, I think. You know what? Our cards are pretty decent. So maybe. Maybe. But we are so far, man. No mind sprite apparatus. No Jace. No robbery. Like, we need to draw so many pieces. Alright. That's okay. That's a good cut down. Guards, to me. I don't think mana will be an issue for this turn. I want to keep the rest for some strong play, like Jace or something. Man, this will be such such a fight, man. Like look at our hand, like we have half of the hand absolutely useless. And, well, they also have removal, right? So it's not all the worst. So we take the damage. I think they will minus one and we don't gain anything. Uh, but, yeah. But I think it's still worth it. Keep watch for intruders. Like sometimes you get a good trait, you know, randomly. And worst case is just two damage. All right, all right, I duress you. This is the play we wanted and we want to protect it. No way he's made disappearing on casualty, no way. <laughs> I would love it, man. To be fair, interesting play. I don't think it's better, but you could make it. So you cut down first, then they cannot casualty, but I don't think it's worth it. Like, I don't even think make disappearing on this is worth it because I just paid the mana and he's in exactly the same spot. And he's using card and the creature. All right, so... Sweeper, get lost. Not artifact, important part. This is useless. No witness is useless. Nearly, because he can sweep his own board and draw a card. Oh, this is awkward. 
I don't really want to get rid of any of those cards. We get lost. I know, it's weird. And I hope he will be super confused, because now he can play this. Oh, he's not playing it. What a smart monster. Right, and I hope now maybe... No, they don't have mana. So my plan was that if I exile this with the spade, I don't care about the second instance. So discarding this gives the same result because I still need to counter the flashback. And they had seven mana, so I hope they play instantly, but they're very smart about their plays. So the plan a little bit fizzled. Oh, I cannot go for it this turn. I need to keep the spade open. Your training. Double me. Bro, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh boy. As long as he has memory deluge, we kinda, you know, are held hostage with our three mana. And he knows, I think he knows it, right? Alright, he's thinking about something. But we are getting counter, so few good draws can absolutely reverse the game. Are you a good draw? Can you reverse the game? Kinda. Uh, and what can we exile? No more lies. It's actually good for him if we exile it. I think we wait one more turn and then I get rid of bigger board. So decent draw, but not for now. All right. They should go white with the Emperor on minus one. And oh boy, those Mirexes will hurt. So we are going up to four poison. This will stack like crazy, man. But we can, we can maybe... So we need to set up this fast so we can uh, exile his library. And that will be our win con. Oh man, he is really playing smart. I, I have a feeling he knows exactly what we are going for. Because everything he's doing is opposite of what usually a player would do. And the only explanation is that either... Well, two explanations. Either he plays weird or he knows exactly what we are going for and he tries to, you know, set up for after the sweeper. Very good. And this is, this is solid. We kind of have to do it now. Uh, is there anything worth exiling here? Okay, let's cancel and check the graveyard. I don't think we care about any of those cards, so we actually don't exile anything. A little bit of shame, but I think it's still better this way. Can you please play this memory that was finally? <laughs> because, like, I need to hold this mana every single turn. And we probably want big robbery. Finally. Like, I, I can feel he's breaking, man. He wants to play it. But to be fair, he doesn't need to. He can just keep spamming Mirex. We can survive a little bit with it. Yep, here is the second one. Oh boy, this will be harsh. If they feel tough ruin, I mean, that would be good for us. Man, we are at 7, I just realized. Oh boy, what a harsh game, man. I think we'll lose this. Of course, go for the throat. Cannot target the other one, so we just chill. We can steal four cards, but we can steal way more later. Alright, so four damage on the next turn. We don't die, that's important. And I actually think we need maximum damage. Or maximum mana, sorry. Oh, right, they also get Mirex, so three, four, all right, four after this, so we would die otherwise. Finally, thank you. <laughs> Man, I've been waiting with this Dissipate so long, unless this is the draw. No way he drew it. Oh, I see. That's pretty good. Uh, so that's why he, he cast it, because he knew that there will be more. Man, this, this would be so rough. 
very bad draw. I think we need to, you know, help ourselves a little bit with our opponent's deck. So two, three. All right, so four, two, and I think maybe like three. Okay, so this will be 11 mana discounted by three, so eight mana. I think that's for everything, right? So let's leave our, us a little bit of space to play spells. We have two mana. I hope it will be enough to like, you know, interact heavily. All right. This is a nice draw. So, uh, I think we go Celestus into Get Lost, right? Man, now we are feeling at home. <laughs> Just playing Azorius Control while we play Dimir Control. Oh boy, but it, it will be hard. I, I don't see too many outs. Like, we need him to whiff for a very long time, and we are at 6 with 5 poison against 2 Mirex. That's the problem. 2 Mirex is the only problem. The rest we can beat, but. This uh, will like we need to draw four cards a turn to ans to keep answering it every turn, and I'm not sure if we can. Uh, we hit quite a lot of lands here as well, and he will get a little bit of better draw, but there's nothing we can do about it. We can mill him with Jace. If we can get him to like thirty cards, this is the magical number you want. He can remove Jay, so we need to play it and instantly use the ability. 10 cards, 4 cards, so we are not drawing cards. Yes, on, on the bright side, the map tokens uh, help him draw more cards, in a way. But he can use all of this mana, so it's not as amazing. Oh, the counter. And, yeah. I still think it's not the worst, but probably with my Express Apparatus it will be hard for them to hit. And we definitely need something. Oh boy, this is something. So they will Mirex, it will, they will tap nearly maximum. So we can go for a huge march on the, on the Might, right? That's good. That's actually really good. Uh, do I want the Reef and life gain one less? We are casting something, so we are not cycling it, because Celestus won't trigger. I think this could be really important. Like, Mill is our plan for this game. Can you play a spell? Okay, good. Good. For a moment, I was scared he won't do it. So he's fully tapped except one mana. So, you know, let's do the thing. Uh, we have 10 mana, so we can go for 9. Ha! Joke. Gotcha. For 13. We could also go for the Emperor, but the poison is, uh, the, poison is the huge problem. Alright, and now Samurais don't super matter. We are back to 19. We remove the poison. And nothing will hit us, at least this turn. So we are trying to start the game. He, he should expect Jace, to be absolutely honest. Especially that we drew so many cards. So I think he's a really good player. So I would say that he expects our, us to play this. So he might be a bit aware of playing. But we have Jace in our deck. So if we hit two and he doesn't have counter spell, he instantly loses on the next turn. And I think he knows it because he's starting to be super aggressive right now. So one Mirex, I think two, right? He can activate both. Yeah, with Celestus he can activate both. So he splits the mana perfectly. However, as I'm saying, if we hit Jace from the top, we instantly win the game because he's at 30 cards. What is he thinking about? Probably one of those two cards, but that will cost him the poison token, and I think he should go for the poison token. Or toxic, technically. <laughs> that was that was great commentary stuff, as always. Uh, so man, we have a lot of lands, and all of them are not ours. Okay, good. I mean uh, I probably don't want to draw. 
So they will cycle one of those that we have seen. Oh, all right. Three is rather worse than this. Okay. And no sense, right? Because we can mill something really good. So he has field of ruins. If we attack, there is still some benefit because he needs to pay the mana, which means one less Mirex, right? Oh no, he, he still three. Oh, he still can use only one. So I guess there is no upside. We need to fight for Jace. Unfortunately, we are both getting triggers. Uh, but I kinda have to do it, man. I don't have place. I have infinite mana and I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> oh, the pain. There is a chance we go for double reef, so I'll take it. But by the time we get there, he might have a counter spell, so not looking super hot right now. Not looking super hot. All right, they're going for it right now. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not want to do it. Uh, sure. That's an oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this actually makes us man look at look at this triple wincon still in the deck so we have less cards in the deck that gives us increased chance to draw jace and it also gets rid of some of the cards from his library so i think we'll lose but one top deck can change everything however he still needs to not have a counter spell in those three cards i think he plays quite a lot of those Probably three or four no more lies. I would guess he has also hard counter spells, but you cannot know. You will see, we will see. The fact that he also gets the value from Celestus is so painful. <laughs> like I'm used to getting all the value myself and right now our opponent is like, yeah, thanks bro. And I'm like, you're welcome bro, I, I, I will concede soon. Uh, if we hit rubber, I guess, we can also mill so many cards, man. It is possible they don't have answer to uh, apparatus. And look how much this march helped us, man. <laughs> and this is like third turn in a row when he's trying to get us back to this, you know, six that we were, we were on. Alright, drawing more cards. 23 potentially. Good. I don't think we'll get him to 15 though, and that's a little bit of a problem. I hoped for this card, man. I really did. I really did. I mean, we can we can win right now if he doesn't have a counter spell, and I think we have to go for it. We are not winning otherwise. Please don't have a hard counters. No way he has it. Oh my god, he doesn't. When he highlighted, I was sure, man. I was sure. Okay. Five. Go. Because we can kill him. When he taps for the Mirexes. One. Two. Guys, we. I think we won. He doesn't expect this. And we'll get him absolutely off guard. I cannot believe we'll win this if he does the play. But I really don't think he expects it, right? One. No way. No way. I messed with the mana, but he's going for Field of Ruin. Oh my god. Thank you. Bro. And you know what? We'll, we'll add <laughs> salt to the injury. Because if you want to give us extra cards and extra mana. We will say, thank you, my friend. You just killed yourself, or should I say you played yourself? <laughs> All right, and now, let the epicness continue. Eight, plus six. My friend, enjoy your full tap, because you didn't expect this one, huh? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh yes, this win feels super sweet. Man, I was sure we cannot win this. I think this, we started with cutdowns, right? 
And here we are, just milling our opponent at instant speed when he tried to be a fish. And he played extremely well. That was a really good player. All right, we are going first. We have some cardo. We have iron crack. So it could be interesting. And we have quite a lot of live game. Oh boy, a mono red player. Wow. I'm sure he's enjoying magic a lot. All right, let's go iron crack. <laughs> I cannot believe anyone still plays this deck. Man. It's just insane. Uh, however, we of course appreciate it because it's fun for some somebody. Uh, I think we could go Celestus. We need to go for the throw this, that's for sure. So I think this is a good turn to play it. This also gives us access to life gain and extra life gain on the next turns because we will have extra mana. So March will hit for one more. Full swing. So good. Crazy. Man, how they are doing it? They are playing all of the cards. Even if they are highlighted. That's, that's just so good. <laughs> well, talk about making all the wrong decisions, but for, fortunately it usually won't matter. The deck is so good that they can do anything and most of the time still win. So we want to cycle. I'm not sure if I even want this debate. If I get better card, this is not a better card. Uh, so we can march for five. That's a lot. I don't love it. I think it's a it's a good target. Also, if they play something else, then we uh, double that they double spell, right? I wonder. So I could kill Kumano and just go for huge silver scrutiny. We definitely go on blockers. I didn't feel hesitation there. However, if they have some, I think we just take the damage. They deal four damage, and if we get this extra three mana, we negate nearly all of it. We just need to avoid a uh, burn spell. More damage. Uh, I could go for Celestus, but we don't have anything to cycle. We can also go for the Shark, right? I will highlight it so they know, in case they missed it. <laughs> they don't care, man. <laughs> oh boy, they don't care. So they will probably be monstrous right or something. Or maybe they kill us. But we still, I think, go for it. Alright. Oh wow, that's the card. So we kind of have to go for the March play. Let's see if they have also Monstrous Rage. Uh, we go like this. If they're really good at magic and they have both of the cards, well, they probably win. If they don't, we should be okay. Well, that was really good for them. What? Man, they can literally misplay as hard as they want. <laughs> and they're still somehow in diamond. Alright, let's go for four cards, right? I should actually play this first, because I might get better draw. For example, I would just work on this card. Let's go for four. We probably need a black march. Well, not the best draw ever. Three damage. Very nice. You can see that Celestus is a huge deal. Uh, with all this card, though, we don't need survival. We just need maximum. <laughs> we just need maximum mana every turn. So I'm gaining two life. All right, all right. So it's not really worth it for the live game. They will just attack, I think. The problem is, what if they have burn? I could also double spell on this turn. So I go four. You know what, I think this is best. So we lose, man, we lose three life. 
Oh, that's rough. That's a little bit rough. Let's go for it. We need to be smart because they might kill us with lightning strike if they order things correctly before this resolves. Unfortunately, instantly attacking. That's not what we wanted. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make the hit. I think they will burn it in response. Uh, I think every monorad player knows about it, right? Yep. So we still... Oh man, that's that's perfect because normally they would lose the burn, but this way they don't lose even the burn. We still have Celestu, so now we'll start playing with it. And life gaining more than they deal. And uh, we get rid of islands. Uh, what about this? First we draw and then we see what we get if we need two or one mana exactly that was my thinking so as you can see for this turn we needed the untap land but man surveillance are so good especially in like top deck mode it can basically accelerate you by full turn man uh, combat phase is only once each turn so even if he plays something it won't be attacking and he didn't play anything so we live game and Celestus is always getting us out of lethal range. And my favorite is going to daytime. I could go silver scrutiny, but this is better. And then we cycle again. And you can feel the spare <laughs> getting into our monoret friend. Because he doesn't draw enough burn to counter the Celestus. And every time he whiffs, it just hurts even more. Alright, I think I'm going... Oh man, this is pretty strong. Alright, I think we go for a maximum amount then. They can celebrate, so this will be 4, 6, 7... 7 damage, are you serious? Yeah, we definitely need to go for a maximum. We can still hit cut down. Not a cut down. Well, getting scary. It's highlighted, so don't worry. They cannot miss it. Basically, the user interface does most of the gameplay. Uh, so, <laughs> let's draw a card. That is a sweeper. I still think we need more cards, right? We have quite a lot of... But you know what? No, no, no. I think one mana is worth it. Because we need some life gain, probably. Jace is interesting. We have, what, 18 cards? 18 cards in the... Oh, man. So this will draw 3 cards. I'll take it. I'll take it. We need to exile few, but not too many. Let's go with evidence. There's for sure something we don't like. What is the most expensive card? Dissipate and quick study so we only get rid of two cards so jace is close to being activated and what do we go for i think godric right because it has the biggest attack value squee is super annoying but there were no squeeze so far so we couldn't exile it all right I cannot double spare, right? I only used one. Alright, you guys want the robbery, so we'll go with it. And if you can robbery against Monoret, that would be even more glorious, right? Alright. Not scary at all. We flip, we go to three. We get rid of this. Oh, I was supposed to play this, right? <laughs> I think I was. Alright. We go to daytime. Up to four. I should probably go for, with Celestus. And then we go Apparatus. We don't need to. They cannot remove any of them. Up to five. I think when they see it... 
Oh boy. What is it then? Uh, Monsters Rage, right? And... Oh, never mind. So when they Monsters Rage, we go for the throat. And then Mind Splice and they will concede. Unfortunately. But bro, why are you taking this card? You have no creatures, no targets. What's going on there? <laughs> I mean, man, Celestus really, really helped this win. Alright, what do we have here? We have Mind Spice Separatus and March, so man, I'm taking this hand. And we probably don't need lands for now. Especially with Mind Spice, we should generally have a lot of mana. And we might be playing against Control. Not perfect, I would prefer some kind of slower creature deck. Can't do so full blown Control, alright. Alright, I think we will just wait with quick study and cast it at the end step. If they counter it, then the, uh, the Mind Spice apparatus is easier, right? Uh, they shouldn't counter it generally. We need to be smart, but we can absolutely win this. One outrageous robber can be insanely good. Let's see if they use counter spell. No. Alright, here's our card. So we need to as soon go to 4 mana because they probably don't expect what we have. And that means we can sneak it when they play something. Oh look, what a coincidence. <laughs> and yeah. Unless I expected spell peers, I should give them... Well, they don't make decisions, right? Instantly, a deck that answers my space apparatus with no problem. Alright, alright. We go with Jace. And let's start meeting them. <laughs> I mean, bro, and even if Mind Splice Apparatus didn't win the game, it baited a removal so Jace can win. Alright, we're going first. We have Celestus and the Sweeper and Jace. Man, the art is pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's go with the Source and Scry some. You know what? I think this is a good card. I don't know the matchup, but it should be a decent card. Because we are on the play, we have way more tempo, so we can translate this one extra mana we get over opponent for one extra card, giving us everything better. Oh boy, the mana of death. Of course they do. Of course they do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it's made disappear. Uh, I don't super mind it. Is this like mastermind deck or, you know, the drill? We'll see. We can we can sweep the board, man. <laughs> uh, all right. So, I mean, they don't have good choice. Whatever they do, we can go around it. They should go for the march, but then we can just sweep. So, yeah, I guess the deadly cover up, because at least they can mess a little bit. I could exile cards, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I could also draw three cards. That's that's pretty powerful. But so is Jace. All right, Arena, just got a small hiccup, and we'll get rid of this guy. Not sure if that's better. I think Silver Scrutiny might have been better play, but I will go like this. Alright, one damage acquired. That's the point, like, they don't hit our face anymore, and they don't really do anything as well. <laughs> so, let's see. A land. You know what? I'm not using Takenuma, and I prefer a blue land, so I don't need to pay myself for this for dissipate. Okay, they don't expect apparatus, right? Let's go like this, and see what they will do. Tide Binder. Sure. So they can disable Jace. And we have some choices. We can either try to go for a sweeper on the next turn. Or we can just go for a huge. Maybe not super huge, but pretty strong. Alright, oh, it's instant speed, so it cannot be higher than three. I think that should be enough. And uh, this will hit very, very hard, but we should be able to stabilize. All right, you know, not the best cards ever, but something that should do the trick. 
Alright. So they got rid of the Jace, but it cost them very heavily, and we don't super need Jace. And I, we don't need Celestus triggers right now. So this is a Mind Spice turn. Then we have two mana, so we can play Sewers, because it doesn't hurt us. Otawara. It's not bad, but we can definitely search for something better. I think they will cast this, right? Because they don't really un get what is happening right now. And what do we go for? Hmm. I think we just take the damage, honestly. This is legendary, right? Oh no? Okay. Well. Let's go with Apparatus, because we have two mana, so it will be easier. And do we kill the bat? We probably do, right? No reason not to. I guess I could just go for this one, but then that forces me to play a Sweeper. So he will see the hand, but won't take anything. And now we can start with Silver Scrutiny and the March, and that should be glorious. Do you think they have counter spells? I think four cards should be enough for now. Maybe five. Five should be enough for now. <laughs> because then we have two, so either twice one, you know, one mana spell or double mana spell because we have a counter. And we can still pay the make disappear. Don't tell me. You all right, well, really good at magic. What can I say? Really good at magic. So instead of five cards, we are getting one, and it will be a lot, <laughs> of course. So I don't think they have more bats. We will try it like this. And we double spell so we can uh, draw extra cards as well. All right, Iron Crack still better than Celestus. Well, this was unfortunate. And now they try to kill us before before we recover because we have way stronger uh, deck, but we got a hiccup and he's trying to get all the advantage from it. One mana, draw two cards. We're getting to a good stage. And with Negate, we can absolutely force a Sweeper. Uh, we probably want something, right? Not sure what, but we'll get something for sure. Alright, Mind Splice, and let's go for Celestus, maybe. We evidence 7, but not a big difference. And if they try, okay, so they will try to protect, protect Ertai, but I don't think it will really be a problem. And you know what? For one mana we can check what we hit. Because maybe we draw some removal, like a card down. <laughs> <laughs> and they kinda have nothing right now. Oh, no way. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got it, bro. You got it. But they sacrificed the land. We swept the board. And now we can get rid of something. Uh, okay. Activated or triggered. I don't think it's triggered. I'm not, not super sure, but there is no condition here, it's just at the beginning, not when you hit beginning or something. So I still think it's a bat. I don't like bats. They're pretty strong. Alright. So no more bats this game. And that helps us to play around stuff. And we can double spell easily. Let's go Iron Crack. We'll cycle this, uh, the Mind Splice, probably. Alright, a good draw. With Cut Down and Negate and the Sweeper, I don't feel super scared. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Celestus gives us advantage, so we have kinda even cards, uh, but with Celestus we'll find Dancer way faster. 
yeah, that was a cool game. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the epicness of Dimir, especially with Mind Splice Apparatus. Man, those X cards are getting crazy. And even Deadly Cover Up, man, even for three mana, having a full sweeper with no conditions uh, is so good because you can set up something else usually, right? And you get discount per spell. So if you have Silver Scrutiny, you can sweep the board fully and then draw like two, three extra cards. And very often that's enough to win the game if the game is close. Uh, I actually added Mirexes after playing the game, so that's why you don't see them in the video. Because uh, after the Mirex game, I felt, man, maybe I should also have it. You can also go Field of Ruin, it depends on your style. So uh, for the deck, it seems to be pretty decent. Like, we, we kind of crashed it. Uh, we didn't play too many games, but we earned, I think, four wins, one loss, so pretty good. And yeah, uh, man, it, it's a super fun deck. I think having both J and robbery uh, really makes it so much easier to kill you know basically all the mid-range control decks and it, like Atraxa deck isn't scary for this one because you don't need to fight them you can either mill Atraxa and just extract her or you can just uh, mill them so easily that they probably won't even get a full benefit from first Atraxa so really cool deck so far uh, I'm not sure how uh, teched it's against uh, aggro I was trying to keep it balanced but if you are seeing more monorat, you can probably use some extra parasitic grasps. That's uh, the card I would go for personally. I try to keep it more of a, you know, late game powerhouse. I, I like playing longer games, so that's that fits my style. But just, just so you know. And for the new cards, Deadly Cover Up is amazing, as always. It's just such a pleasure to have a full sweeper in Black Man. And the evidence thing is absolutely amazing. It's very rare when you don't use it. Everything that is free it makes a huge difference like you are playing already five mana sweeper and those upsides make or break the card so super cool card outrageous robber seems to be getting better and better honestly uh, and the fact that you can skip on win cons because this is both your card advantage and win con is really huge the instant makes all the difference i still included some silver scrutiny uh, just because you want few cards together like you are drawing from your opponent deck it's great but you need Mind Splice Apparatus and uh, Robbery and possibly the Jace. So you need to kind of combo a few cards from your deck. And that's why I kept the split between drawing from our deck and just exiling cards from your opponent deck. And with Jace, it will be so easy to mill them. Especially the most of the decks still don't expect it. So if you are playing it early into the new set, probably most of the players don't expect this play. You have seen in the control game, uh, I think he was completely caught off guard because possibly he could have counterplay, but he just didn't think about it pro probably. So for now, <laughs> it will be a huge surprise. Maybe in a few weeks, people will expect it and it will be a little bit different and harder to mill them. But so far, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, tell me in the comments. And by the way, the video is inspired by one of your comments because someone mentioned Mind Sprite Apparatus together with the robbery. And I instantly liked the idea, but I needed some testing. So that's why it's, it's now and not like two days ago. All right, guys, I hope you had a great fun. Thank you for being here. You're absolutely amazing. And thank you for just supporting the channel every single day. That means a lot to me. And yeah, see you tomorrow, guys.